It's a lightweight bout between Tony Ferguson and Henry the Messenger Cejudo. All right, so here is the UFC champion, Henry Cejudo, took Olympic gold in Beijing back in 2008. This man is a winner in every sense of the word. He's an absolute winner, and he did win in 2008, but I say go back to 2007. When we walked into the World Championship in Azerbaijan, Henry Cejudo was 34 of 35 guys in the weight class. Fast forward a year ahead, Amazing. he's the Olympic champion. But then that applies to Demetrius Johnson. He got beat by DJ the first time, knocked out in one round. Fast forward three years, he beats him by decision and becomes the UFC champion. Henry Cejudo is just a winner. And in a lot of respects, just getting started. We'll see how it goes for the messenger here tonight. Well, with respect to Justin Gaethje and anyone else who want to throw in the mix, this is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC and with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands full. And there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's crazy. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match that. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is three years his senior. He is seven inches taller. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, eight losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Fight! All right, quick pause in the action gives us a chance to wish the inimitable El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, a happy birthday. And if we know Tony the way we think we do, you know what he's doing on his birthday. He's training, man. Tony Ferguson is one of the hardest workers you'll ever meet. Happy birthday, Tony. Take a second. Enjoy. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Man, look how flexible those legs are. He's got them in rubber guard. I don't think I can do that much. I mean, John, don't sell yourself short. You just might be able to do it. But if you do, John, you're doing it with the idea that you're slowing everything down. 
as a defensive fighter. There are submissions, right? There are submissions, but they're very rare submissions that we don't see used very often in the UFC. Nice elbow to the body by Tony Ferguson. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Right punches there. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. I don't like Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Sahuda. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt man. He's hurt man, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. So we call on the fight stats here. 56 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Jab there. It's one thing to half length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that shot. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I've, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like... Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ferguson. Lands with the ground and pound here. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good work from the top here by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Round two next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level, I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Man, that was beautiful, man. He got hurt. He should have put him away. He was hurt. He was 
ready for that final blow, all right? He's probably still on. All right, here we go with our next round, and how ready? about the striking display in that ready? previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and he's low, so that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Outstanding need the quick entry here. Nice single leg entry, rotates ahead of the to high crotch. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ferguson. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure and that usually out. makes you tap. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Close guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, is there any strike not in this guy's arsenal? Nice elbow to the body by Fruits. Cejudo gets touched, and once again, it's that elbow. That has been there all night. Defense has got to be better. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Nice hammer fist. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Solid strike on the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves. So freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Close guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Tony Ferguson. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, bottom 
fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Ferguson. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Hey, stop! All right, man, we got ourselves a fight here. All right, we knew this. Don't worry about the cut. We got it under control. Just do not... All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. He landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach, and certainly is making it count in this one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Nice body kicks. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice take down there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Close guard. A strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Ferguson. Cejudo's got the full mount. All right, looks like he's got a couple of hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. Mark, you can just throw punches something. to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Uh, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Right hand by Henry. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter that's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, working inside the close guard now. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Cerruto. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, you gotta to the finish, continue to gain posture, and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Ferguson's trying to lock up on a submission now. And this might just be a matter of time. Able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. 
Able to land the single ground strike there. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Cejudo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And he landed the right hand there. right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Beautiful pace. It's keeping up. He can't keep up with you. You train way too hard because you're looking great. All right. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. That's a big strike right here. Takedown defense holds up. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. Cejudo gets caught by the straight punch. Superman punch lands! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can oh. get off the strike. Oh, straight right. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down to see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. The ground and pound has been there all night. Close guard. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. in trouble. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cejudo. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ferguson. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Zahudo's back in half point. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? He passed the half guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Close guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him head -hunting. Most times the coach show, don't hit her, don't hit her. I'm yelling, hit her. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He loaded up there in that high kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control. Our body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground team. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, has the guard closed here. He loaded up in that right hand, too. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combat. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in there. Close guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The kabor is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Bottom fighter trying to control. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, 
Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ferguson. Cejudo's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Tony Ferguson. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurate. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. So Hudos has got full mount now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Tony Ferguson. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Ground and pound strike is true. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Tony El Capuli Ferguson! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.